Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover what the numerator of a fraction is and what the denominator of a fraction is. We will go through some examples together and then we will end with some practice problems. Now simply put, the numerator is the top number of a fraction and the denominator is the bottom number of a fraction. But what do the numerator and denominator represent? What do they mean? Let's jump into some examples here and see, starting with number one, where we have one third. We need to identify the numerator and denominator, and then we will model, we will draw out that fraction to help our understanding of what this means. Well, let's start with the numerator. That's the top number. So this one right here is our numerator. The bottom number is the denominator. So three is our denominator here. Now, what do these numbers mean? What does this fraction mean? We will start with the denominator. The denominator tells us the total number of equal parts a whole has been divided into. For one third, three is our denominator. So the whole needs to be divided into three equal parts. And we will use this rectangle off to the side here for our whole. Now, do we have to use a rectangle? No, that's just the shape we are using for this example. So one, two, three. This is what we call thirds, three equal parts. Let's move on to the numerator. The numerator is the number of equal parts we have out of the whole. The number of equal parts we are working with for whatever the situation may be. The numerator is one here. So we have one equal part out of three. So let's shade one out of the three parts to represent that numerator and the fraction altogether. And that's it, there's one third, one equal part out of three total equal parts. Let's move on to number two, where we have five eighths. And we'll start by identifying the numerator and denominator. Five is the top number of the fraction. So that's the numerator. And then eight is the bottom number of the fraction. So that is the denominator. Now let's draw that fraction out. Let's model that fraction. And we will start with the denominator. So the whole needs to be divided into eight total equal parts here. So coming over to the circle here, again, we need eight equal parts. And we call these eight equal parts eighths. Let's move on to the numerator now, which is five. So we need five equal parts out of eight total equal parts shaded in. So one, two, three, four, five. And that's it, there's five eighths. Five equal parts out of the eight total equal parts. So now that we've gone through some examples together, it's time for you to try some practice problems on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. Here are your practice problems. Label the numerator and denominator of each fraction. Then draw a model of each fraction. Just like we did for our examples, write numerator and denominator next to each. For example, for number one, write three fourths and then write numerator next to the numerator and denominator next to the denominator. Yes, this will get a little repetitive, but it will help us get this down and see if you can get the spelling right without looking as you go along. Then draw a model of each fraction. I gave you a guide to start you off for each model, so feel free to copy what I have, but you can use different shapes than I did if you'd like. 
So we have a whole divided into equal parts, and then we shade a certain number of those equal parts. I'll give you two minutes, and then we will go over the answers. Go ahead and start. Okay, so that's two minutes. Let's take a look at the answers. So here are our answers. The numerator is going to be the top number of each fraction, and then the denominator is going to be the bottom number of each fraction. For number one, we have four equal parts with three shaded in. For number two, we have five equal parts with two shaded in. For number three, we have eight equal parts with one shaded in. And then lastly, for number four, we have three equal parts with two shaded in. So there you have it. There's what the numerator of a fraction is and what the denominator of a fraction is. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.